Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, we are going to discuss hepatitis B serologic markers. Hepatitis B is a DNA virus having an outer protein capsule and an inner protein core, and having a DNA inside the core. The outer protein capsule and inner protein core are made up of small protein molecules which act as antigens. So the outer protein capsule has antigens which are called hepatitis B surface antigens, and inner protein core has antigens which are called hepatitis B core antigens. And between the surface capsule and the core, there are other antigens present which are called hepatitis B E antigens, which are released only when the cell replicates and therefore they are a marker of high infectivity. So in this structure, let's see what do we have. We have hepatitis B surface antigens, these green ones. Then we have these brown ones, hepatitis B core antigens. And then we have these yellow ones, hepatitis B, E antigens, and then we have a DNA, the hepatitis B virus DNA. So whenever there are antigens, antibodies are formed against them. So all of these antigens will have counter antibodies formed against them. So HPS antigen will have a counter antibody called anti HBS or HBS antibody HBC will have anti HBC or HBC antibody and HBE will have anti HBE or HBE antibody so this anti HBC it is further divided into two types IgM and IgG Whenever there is an antibody response against some antigens, the initial antibodies formed are these IgM types. They, they are large antibody complexes made up of five antibodies and they are a marker of acute infection. So IgM are formed in acute infection because they are formed initially and the, in later stage, instead of IgM, IgG are formed. So they are a marker of chronic infection. Now one more uh, thing we will discuss is that two more things in fact that all of these can be detected in the serum but this HBC antigen this cannot be detected in the serum because it is present inside the cell and even when it is released in small amount the amount is so small that it is undetectable. So no matter in which stage of disease the patient is in HBC antigen will never be positive. The rest can be detected. Regarding this IgM anti-HBC and IgG anti-HBC, the IgM anti-HBC levels can be measured, but IgG anti-HBC levels cannot be measured. But we can measure the total anti-HBC. So total anti-HBC can be measured, and this is equal to the sum of the IgG and IgM. So if we know the total. Uh, anti-HBC levels and if it is high and IgM levels are low it means that the total contains IgG and IgG level are high so uh, one more thing which you want to discuss is that the antigens and their counter antibodies they are such great enemies of each other that when they fight they say that either I will live or you will live we will not live together so anti HBS antigen and anti HBS antigen and anti HBS cannot be positive uh, at the same time. Either this will be positive or this will be positive or both can be negative but both cannot be positive. Similarly HBE antigen and anti HBE cannot be both positive at the same time. They both can be negative, one can be positive but both cannot be positive. So now we will discuss the level of different serologic markers in different phases of the disease starting with the acute hepatitis B virus infection. So in acute hepatitis B virus infection the virus has entered the body and whenever there is present infection whether acute or chronic the hepatitis B surface antigens are always positive. So hepatitis B surface antigens are positive and when the antigens are positive their counter antibodies are always negative. Although the antibodies have started to form against these antigens but these antibodies are being utilized and they are in such a small number the free antibodies in the plasma are in such a small number that they are undetectable. So whenever the antigen is positive antibody will be negative and in acute phase these must be positive. So 
antibodies will also form against these core antigens and the level of these antibodies will be detectable because they are not utilized because the antigen is inside the virus the HBC antigen so they will always be positive whether it is acute infection or chronic infection or past infection so anti-HBC will be positive PCR will also be positive because the viral DNA is present in our blood so PCR is positive regarding this HBC antigen these ones they are only positive when there is high infectivity as in acute infection usually the virus is replicating a lot therefore HBE antigen will most likely be positive and when the antigen is positive this counter antibody will be negative all right so now coming to our window period now window period is a special period in which the antigens that hepatitis B surface antigens and the uh, antibodies the war in between them is in such a phase that the antibodies are just about to win and they have depleted almost depleted the antigens and the virus from the blood and the level of the antigens is undetectable now so HBS antigens are negative and the antibodies that are uh, winning this war they are also being utilized and the new army of antibodies has not just arrived so that the level is detectable so the level of antibodies is also undetectable it is basically the phase in which the level of uh, when the antigens are declining and the antibodies are ab about to rise but both are undetectable so these will be negative the anti-HBC will be positive and this will be IgM and this was also IgM because it is an acute infection it was an acute infection all right PCR will be positive because there's still some viral DNA in the body regarding HBE antigen and anti-HBE the HBE antigen will be negative because the at this stage the virus is not replicating because it's winning it's uh, losing its war so hbe antigen will be negative and its counter antibody may be positive so now coming to the chronic hepatitis b virus infection in chronic hepatitis b virus infection again we have virus in the body so whenever there is virus in the body the hepatitis b surface antigens are positive so HBS antigens will be positive and their counter antibodies being utilized will be negative the anti HBC will be positive and this anti HBC will be IgG this time and this is what differentiates it from the acute infection all right so PCR will also be positive in chronic hepatitis B infection in high infectivity but in low infectivity it may be positive or may negative depending on the phase of disease in a high infectivity the antigens hbe will be released and they will be positive the counter antibody is negative and in low infectivity these will be negative hbe antigen will be negative and the counter antibody may be positive now coming to recovery phase in recovery phase antibodies that were formed against all the antigens they have won the war and they have depleted the virus from the body so now only antibodies are, are present in the plasma so all the antibodies will be positive anti hbs will be positive anti hbe will be positive anti hbc will be positive and it will be igg and pcr will be negative the rest of the antigens will be negative so coming to our last scenario which is immunization so in hepatitis B immunization what happens is that we do not give the whole virus in attenuated form as vaccine rather the vaccine of the hepatitis B is genetically engineered and it contains hepatitis B surface antigens only so antibodies are formed against the surface antigens only and these antibodies destroy all the antigens and ultimately we have only the hepatitis B surface antibodies in our plasma so the anti hbs will be positive there will be no anti hbc no anti hbc because there were no hbc antigens given in the vaccine so this is what differentiates the immune response from a vaccine and immune response from uh, uh, the virus itself so the rest will be negative 
and uh, this is it now if we see the pattern in it in the hepatitis b surface antigen is always positive whenever there is infection present infection whether acute or chronic it is negative in recovery and in immunization so in present infection by the virus it is positive except there is a small exception of a window period which lasts about a month so this is always positive and in uh, recovery and immunization it's, it's counter antibody is positive now the pcr is similar to the uh, NTHBS and it is always positive in the present infection whenever the DNA is present in our blood then uh, regarding the NTHBC NTHBC is always positive whenever there is present or past viral hepatitis B infection so it will always be positive and if it is an acute infection it will be IgM and in chronic infection it will be IgG and regarding the HBE antigens they are positive only when the virus is replicating and there is high infectivity so that's it I hope you found it helpful thank you